still in the restaurant. I'm supposed to ask if you remember anything. You took a tough blow to the head. I can tell. Well, remember anything? You're still in the restaurant, right? Yep. And my finger? It's somewhere in here. You got pretty feisty. We had to knock you out. Were you on crack or something? I'd say fear. More or less. I remember you asking me questions. I was panicking pretty badly. Maybe I remember a sharp pain in my hand. Then it's just blackness. Why are you so calm now? The way I figure it, you're not going to let me out of here without a fight. And I'm in no condition for that. That's smart of you. Most people try to make a break for it. They think being brave is their ticket out of here. I'm not brave. You're not stupid either. But I'd be stupid not to confess, right? We'll let you go if you do. Two things. One, as I already said, I'm not a brave man. You ambush me in a restaurant and expect me to tell you about some diamonds or whatever you said, of which I know nothing about. And two, even if I did tell you, you'd kill me before I could leave because you figure I know too much. At this point, I'm already a dead man. What do you and Robert talk about in your sessions? <laughs> As his doctor, I'm not allowed to tell you anything. But considering you took my fucking finger, I'll make an exception. Really? I will literally reveal everything I know about him. Robert, who is six foot two at 300 pounds, comes in every Tuesday at 11 a.m. He sits on the couch and talks about dogs. Dogs? Exactly, dogs. <laughs> D-O-G-S, dogs? <laughs> Dogs! <laughs> I can hardly get him to open up to talk about anything else. Help, Robert is so fucking stupid, I don't even take notes. I just doodle. I'm good enough to draw comics if I wanted to. You're not a very good shrink, are you? Pays the bills. And then some. Look, I don't know about diamonds. I didn't even know Robert ran with gangsters. You don't know anything at all. Come on, diamonds? I thought that kind of shit only happened in movies. Well, it doesn't. And the sooner you talk, the sooner we'll let you out of here. Have you ever heard of Schrodinger's cat? Who? Schrodinger, he was a physicist. He had this crazy experiment involving quantum mechanics. He took this box, and in the box he put a tiny canister of radon gas. At least I think it was radon. Either way, it was deadly. 
and the canister could go off at any moment. So then he takes this cap and he puts it in the box and closes the lid. And there aren't any holes, so you can't see the cap or anything. Where are you going with all this? I'm getting to it. So there's this box with the cat and the gas. And, and remember, the gas could go off at any time and the cat could die. Schrodinger, being the crazy fuck that he was, hypothesized that for the duration of the experiment, because we can't see the cat, we don't know if it's alive or dead. Therefore, it is both alive and dead at the same time. I don't get it. It's quantum mechanics. Nobody gets it. It's my hand. I look at this bandage and I, I can't tell whether my finger's there or not. Because I can still kind of feel something but I know it isn't there. So, I guess the cat really is dead. Does it hurt? There's a bear shit in the woods. That's the boss. You sure you got nothing to say? I already told you, I don't know anything. I just, Whatever you say, Doc.